Hello everyone, this is your partner speaking, welcome to the DHC Network, and today we are back with another Let's Play on Red Dead Redemption 2 Story Mode. We are now in part 45, and last time we pretty much helped out, uh, we met the brothers one last time, this time they did, they rode through a barrel and saved them, they have also helped out a widow named Charlotte on how to hunt, we also, um, Assisted Sadie Adler on eliminating the O'Driscolls, and also we helped um, Henry Lemieux, the mayor of Saint Denis, on convincing a guy to fund the library. So now we are in Van Horn. We're about to meet another stranger. I wonder who, who, who it is. So furthermore, enough of talking. Let's get straight to the video, shall we? Who's in here? Saving people, Good taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well, uh... Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little oh, tiny magician I... has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, oh fuck it, he... Oh. No, Bertram, 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 woof, woof, Bertram, put the nice man down. Do something, you only eat him. Um, uh, e e e easy there. Uh, easy there. Uh, sorry. Bertram. All right, now we're gonna fight this strange guy. Bertrand is his name, huh? So Stop. Not nice. All right. No fair. And this guy's not even that tough, to be honest. I heard this guy has a lot of brutal strengths. Whoa, we can't let him beat him up. There you go. Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnico. Hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me what that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So, you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram, like sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. There you go, find Magnifico. So these people, I, I usually refer them as the circus freaks. The reason why, because they're actually a circus group. So we got Bertram, a weird giant, and we got Magnifico, mostly probably a little midget, if I'm correct. If I remember correctly, I done these with John Marston, because I didn't know um they existed. So and also and one thing, guys, that mission is actually um available at Chapter Two. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. This mission is available at Chapter 2, but the reason why I didn't chose to do it at Chapter 2 is because I feel like this mission is worth for Chapter 6, so that's what we're gonna... That's what I'm gonna focus on that, so... Anyways, let's go see, um, Obadiah real quick. Hey, 
All right, so here we are in the Kamasa River. Um, I kind of chose to finish up the Circuit Freaks, Freaks mission. We're gonna go ahead and find Magnifico. So let's go find. I think that's him over there. Let's let's check it out. That's him, all right. Whoa, <laughs> that's amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, who? Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Marjorie. Well, she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't you? No, that's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. No. Stay away from me. <sighs> All right, let's go chase Magnifico. All right, this this one's gonna be this one's fun though. I remember doing this with John like when I first played this. I wonder if there's a medal reward for it. Where did he go? Oh, he crossed the river. Yeah, th he's cool. I done this with John, but the searching the smoke for Magnifico. Purple. He's on the blue. Let's take the. Oh, there's a pig. Oh, he's this way right now. Let's go get him. I think we're about to catch up to him now. Where do you go now? Now where you gone? Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Uh, where can we find him at? She ain't as bad as all that. Okay, where did I find him last time? I think he's in this tree. Or is it this tree? Okay, this one's okay, let's use eagle eye. Okay, it doesn't lead me anywhere. Where can I find him? There he is. We found him. I checked that tree. All right. What, what do we do now? Approach Magnifico. We are. Okay. He's not letting me. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there. Stop. So Damn it. What the hell? Oh, where'd he go now? Now he went this way now. Let's see if we got more chasing to do. Oh, he's going to the train. Too bad about that train. We're gone. We got him. Ah, we did. Oh, almost did though. Other side now. He had nowhere left. Damn it! Ah. Oh, oh, but boys! Oh no! 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 I ain't back. I'm gone on the next train to the Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stump of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. 
I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you uh, are gonna be pulling uh, rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Ah, uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to Mama. Oh, yeah. I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together! Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you! Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing Saint Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting a gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and a half wit. Bye bye. What I done to deserve you too? So, yep, that's the last time you'll see them, but not technically. You're able to see their show in St. Denis, so we'll check that out another time. But other than that, let's go ahead and um, let's start the next mission. Okay, girl. Alright then, so here we are back in Butcher's Creek. We're about to talk to Obadiah Hinton, so let's see what he got, he got, got for What's us. That? Remember me? I helped with those dogs. I've been seeing about this curse oh. of yours. Welcome, brother. It's a dark omen. Those charms out in the woods, they all been broken. All of them? So I guess that's it for your suffering. Ah! <laughs> it's a miracle! We're saved! <laughs> the darkness lifted! Not saved. Huh? Cursed. Huh? He broke the charms. And the spirits are set loose. We're, we're, we're doomed then? Hold on. You said the charms was protecting the curse. I said it was a dark omen. I said he had the demon's tongue. Right, now I think I I need to, I need some light here now. I, yeah, I don't know what to think. Hey, huh? look at me. Yeah. I think something's going on in this holler. It ain't a curse. And whatever else it ain't, this fella don't want you to know. Liar. I told you he would lie and dissemble. Something's up, and this one wouldn't be so quick with ideas he didn't have some clue of it. I have the gift, my ancestor. I got a gift right here. I'm going to commune with the spirits. Dark, dark omens, dark spirits. What is he hiding? He always, he always spoke truthful to us. There, there is a dig on the other side of the hill there. There was a dig anyway. It's closed now. He always said something about not going over there. Well, maybe I'll take a look at that dig. See if I can see something. Uh, all right. Investig investigate the mine. So let's see what's going on here. So. I I way. guess we're gonna I guess we're gonna stop right here for now on. So um, let's go ahead and meet up with Eagle Flies. All right then. So here we are in Kimberlin Forest, and we're about to meet up with Eagle Flies. And for some strange reason, the Carcano rifle has popped out of nowhere. So let's go ahead and um, let's start this mission. Probably the last one for this video. So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion, the smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are you all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Oh, okay, I remember this mission now. This is the most iconic mission. There's some... People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. 
Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem and will disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but... Their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on. Let's get this done. Alright, here, here we go. We're gonna put some dynamite around these trees, so let's get let's pick up this spool. We don't have a lot of time. The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. Yeah, we gotta make this quick. Hurry, Archer. I'll plant the dynamite, you run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. Yeah, so what's going on is we're gonna attack the US Army, so yeah, we're gonna hurry up. We gotta touch this wire. I sent for some of that dynamite. You and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. All right, let's play another one right here. Oh yeah, I guess um he's Dutch was referring to the robbery where Arthur and Bill robbed the uh, wagon explosives from Micah. So yeah, this mission here is one of the most iconic I ones. Got to see Colm Hanks. Yeah, after all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See. We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. Yeah, Dutch is referring to um the the hanging of Como Driscoll. In, in the mission Goodbye, old friend. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Anyways. Okay, let's go, Arthur. Alright, let's go then. Let's meet up with eagle flies in them up there, so... If I'm correct, there's a mission where we actually assault Fort Wallace, if I'm correct. I could be wrong. Or maybe I was thinking of the missions in Red Dead Online. And make sure my car can is set to high velocity, because we want the... Oh, Everyone into position. And let's go ahead and put my mask on. We have to cover up. My spotter will let us know when they're near. Yeah, I almost fell off. Ah, oh, damn. Patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No, I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There were decisions? Wait for the patrol in the, in to be in position. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay, they've passed the first charge. If we blow it now, we should have them trapped. All right, let's do it. I think I got to check. Yeah, no, they're walking. Let's, let's detonate. Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? 
What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! All right, here we go. It's time to attack the army once more. Oh, they're coming this way now. Oh my god, whole, two whole clicks of... Man, those things have kicked, though. There you go. Let's grab the sniper. You damn fools, it's the army. It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you! Take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Finish yeah. These men quickly. Then we move. This Loot the soldiers. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Oh, here comes more of the U.S. Army. Oh, this music, though, man. Kind of reminds me of Sergio Vincenzo for some reason. I think that's where the mix came from. This mission. Let's street. Let's headshot these guys. Whoa! Watch out for the tree. Let's get a headshot with the Carcano rifle. I gotta put some use to it. Uh, yes, I can. If you don't have dead eye. You guys are screwed. Give it up now and you're just Defeat the patrol. Let's take out the handguns. How did I not get that? Where's Peta? Well, we're sending riders from the fort. We need to leave. But where's Peta? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! Yeah, we gotta get the hell out of here. Where the Eagle Flash did went? Stay with me. What are you riding off for? Okay, let me let me change my car counter rifle to the shotgun. Because I've been going more close range than long range, so. Where are we going? Left here, into the trees. Okay, let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. Yeah, good point. All right. Let's carry on by foot. Try and sell them a little snack for you. You think? Oh my God. Get out of here! Yeah. All right, Dutch, let's go. What are you doing? I'll put you in the ground, you son of a bitch. I guess not. Get behind something, Arthur. 
Oh, there you go. I think that's why I prefer the shotgun. If you guys wondering why I used to sing weapons, it's because they're the best weapons in the game. The Lancaster, the repeating shotgun, the handguns too. I could have used something else, but... Maybe perhaps I should start mixing up my weapons, but I just got that habit I just don't want to. Over here. Alright, I got it. I'm reload. Wait, hang on. What am I? I just realized my ammo has changed. Alright, let's put both high velocity and express rounds. That's what was wrong. Alright, let's get some headshots. There you go, let's get him. There you go. All right, let's go. Let's follow Dutch. There's too many, Arthur. Fall back. You don't know who you're dealing with. Whoa, I gotta watch my back. There's too many. Run, get moving. Yeah, let's fall. Escape down the pass. Let's take out the Lancaster. We gotta kill them all. You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here! Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that now. It's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. Yep, I remember that part. You gotta spin my way back. Yeah, let's just keep swimming through. Okay, let's get to Dutch quickly. Made it. You're okay. You're okay. What a mess. I know. But a mess is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No. Not now. Charles. I'll... We'll send them. Uh, where is it? <coughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Then go meet him up at the reservation. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. 
Faith, Arthur. Have faith. Well, that was a disaster. Favorite sons with a bronze. Why are they so bad? Uh, why did we... Okay. Get 35 headshots. Yeah, I could have done more. Kill the solo on the kid within 45 seconds. I think I did. I, I, I could have got him quicker, but the... But the, I didn't get... Uh, but the cat was blocking the shot, so that's what caused it. So, so yeah, I guess we're going to wrap it up right here. This part was pretty interesting. So, um, ladies and gentlemen... Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs like you hear my subscribe. This is Red Dead Redemption 2 Storm Part 45. Favorite sons, as always. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And welcome to the DH Network. This is your partner speaking, signing out.